Well, hi everybody. This is Dear Mama Sal. I promised the broadcast viewers that I would put this video together, but owing to the fact that it could take a while, I'm probably going to split it into three separate ones. Now, the whole reason <laughs> that I needed to do this is something happened to me this weekend that quite honestly hasn't happened to me in a long time. And I'm pretty sure it has happened or will happen to some of you at some time. So I thought, you know, it'd be a really good idea for me to put it together for you so that you could live it with me, if you like, and then hopefully one day when it happens to you, if it does, that you'll be able to go, ah, I remember how this goes. Okay, so I want to start this whole thing with an, a quote that I found which says, you know, be gentle with yourself because you're doing the best you can. I forgot that. <laughs> Let me explain what started this. Um, I signed up for a, an awesome course that um, Benji and Sean have put together uh, called the Video Ranking Academy. And I want to do that because you all know I want to grow the channel. And so <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put links to it, by the way. But anyway, what I did was I, I actually signed up and started the course and the course came with all the modules to it and so like any other human being you know you automatically get very excited oh this is exciting this is something new I'm going to learn something it's going to help me grow help me help more people and so it went on so very exciting number one thing was I got excited <laughs> then number two thing <laughs> I started to get information which you know is very exciting as well and there was a lot of <laughs> lot of information and I think I got about as far as module four when I started to <laughs> I started to feel my brain not being able to take anything in very well it, it was like my brain went on And that would have been okay. I think I, I was capable at that point of saying, okay, fine, then slow it down and, you know, go backwards before you go forwards if necessary. But, you know, the whole group of us that joined the thing together and was sort of like a little, you know, group together and they're all carrying on and, and, and watching it all and I'm going, I dare not go any further. <laughs> I literally dare not go any farther because I'm going to fry. I knew that. <laughs> You know, what little brain cell I got left was going to fry. And I'm trying to look after that brain cell. So I was doing okay at that point. And then I remember Sean sending very helpfully, you know, the 19 things that people do wrong on YouTube. <laughs> well, I got as far, of course, I had to look at that. <laughs> and I got to the first point that he made and I thought oh I really should upgrade that part of my landing page on YouTube you know where you go to and <laughs> when I tried to do that I managed to mess up some stuff and then I couldn't get in to upload anything and by then I was in tears I don't mind telling you I was so frustrated and I was feeling so stupid and you know, talking about, well, I'm too old for this, and I know I'm not. <laughs> and it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. And the worst thing was everybody else in the group, you know, was carrying on and, and sending back great feedback. And I'm still back in the stone age of this course, trying to keep control, and I didn't. So you understand that everybody else seemed to be getting it just perfectly and I was the only dumb one. <laughs> you know how that feels, right? <laughs> That's called peer pressure. Although nobody was doing it but myself. I was putting the peer pressure on myself. And then what happened was the feeling of panic, <clears throat> the feeling of panic came in. And if you've ever been there, you will know what I'm talking about. The mind, my mind was racing so hard and all my negative emotions were on front and center. I was feeling totally, I would have to say buzzed, that's how it felt. 
and panicky. And then there was this terrible need to do more, which I know is wrong. Yeah, it was the, the wrong thing to think. But I was thinking, maybe if I did a bit more, I'd understand it more. And of course, by then, my brain was totally fried. That was useless. So then I began to feel even more stupid and slow and old. And quite honestly, it almost developed into some level of terror. The terror that I might never get it. So I'd set this up with very great excitement. And then I piled on <laughs> information overload. And then I piled on pressure. And then um, got it. So this was a self-inflicted wound. I did this to myself. Intellectually now, I can look back and say, you know, I could have stopped at module one, you know, but no, I couldn't. Um, <laughs> you know, or maybe module two or three. And you know, the funny thing was I voluntarily stopped at module four because I thought maybe that was enough to take in um, and start working on before, you know, I didn't want to go too far ahead. And then it was something about those 19 ways people do it wrong that got my, you know. And the first thing I did was mess everything up. <laughs> so you've got the idea of how this all slotted together into a puzzle. What I did to get myself back into order is the next part.